What's going on, everybody? So, I, I scrolled through this post just to make sure I didn't see anything where this guy recovered his cards yet or not. I didn't see nothing. I'm guessing if he did, it would be all over the place. But I just saw this also posted in one of the uh, private Facebook groups I belong to. So, I'm taking it the guy has not recovered it. And possibly, if you watched the video prior... The gentleman that was uh, being arrested in that picture, I don't know, I, I didn't see him really being arrested, but um, was it was not part of those stacks of cards because otherwise it would have been put out by now. All right, let me pull this up here, and then I'll give you guys the story. And I know, I know, guy shouldn't be carrying $50,000 in cards in a backpack. Trust me, I wouldn't have been doing that either. Y'all know I'd have had my Pelican case up. So I know you guys get to see all my break groups. There's Big Time Shimmy. There's the mon oops. There's Big Time Shimmy. There's the Monster Den with Jacob. I believe Jacob's going to come on uh, Friday night one of these nights with us and uh, shoot the talk with us all. So that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, some of these groups are no longer really working either. But here, here's what I want to show you guys right here. So Craig Conway got his backpack pickpocket at the National Card Convention in Chicago, Illinois this afternoon. Well over 50000 in cards at that he was playing or trade. Trust me, this has already been trolled enough that he shouldn't be carrying his backpack. So we're just going to skip that. We all know you should not be doing that with 50000 in cards. You know, somebody could follow you, move the zipper a little bit each time. But whatever it may be, he got him stolen. So this is what it is. You got a Ryan Mountcastle, oh, whoops, whoops, sorry, Mountcastle Superfractor 101. The Kobe USA team, it's number 23 of 49. And then the Kobe and LeBron is 13 out of 20. So you can also see here Beckett serial number. Let me see if I can blow this up for everybody here. Boom. So this one here, um, oh. 13 out of 20 down here. It's backwards and upside down. Oh, it's kind of hard to see because I guess I didn't cut the whole thing on to here. But anyhow, let me... Oh, wait. I guess I can go like that. 13 out of 20 here. It's backwards. Well, upside down the way. Graded by Beckett, which means he could take it out, but that's why we have a serial number. There's your serial number of Beckett, triple zero nine seven nine five one six six nine ten. The next card... Oops, let's keep going. It's the same one. Blow this up. This is a pretty cool card. I remember these. Um, this is the USA Basketball Kobe Auto. Okay, it was an 8.5, and this was serial numbered as well. I'd have to go back and look at the post. I know it's out of 49 because I can see it right there. But it was an 8.5, Beckett Slab number 001 307 -7889. Again, this is probably going to get pulled out and probably somehow recirculated down the road. And finally, the Mount Castle is a super fractor from his rookie year. First Bowman, 101. You can't read it because he just that's the pictures he had on hand. So again, we got the Kobe Autos, 23 out of 49, the USA one, 13 out of 20 for this one. And then the 101 Mountcastle Super uh, Fractor, which is the first Bowman. So if you guys are out there browsing and, you know, you see something on eBay or whatever other sites you guys might be on, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, and you see something like that, it says contact Craig Conway immediately. Um, I would just do a search for the guy because I don't know what groups he belongs to, to be honest. But hopefully maybe we could give a little help here and try to find it, even though I got it. He was carrying a backpack. But he was pickpocketed. And supposedly, oh, here it is. There was a high crime rate to show today with dealers getting robbed and other attendees getting pickpocketed as well. So that was on Saturday, which was yesterday. So I'm sure more is going to come out onto this as I see them, of people claiming stuff was stolen. I'll let everybody know in the videos. That way, maybe we could try to give a little help out there to try to find these guys their cards. I mean, I know security of your own stuff should be your first and foremost in your mind. It's unfortunate that it happens. And that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that's trustworthy on stuff like that there. 
you know, it all depends on your background, where you come from. For me, myself, you know, like I said, I'd have a Pelican case, and that thing would probably be, I wouldn't even say handcuffed to me. I would probably be that guy <laughs> that would have something like 550 corded a bunch of times, because that there, I mean, yeah, you could cut it and stuff off my arm, but I feel it when it does. I mean, I don't know. I, I would, would not be carrying the backpack that's on my back. I mean, I might carry like a man purse on the front. I don't know what you call those things. So, or something like that there, but those dudes that are carrying money in their backpacks and stuff like that there, I, I would not be doing it unless there was some way that I could secure all those zippers to one thing, and I, I would still be cautious of doing that. But I know a lot of people are calling this stuff to begin with uh, in some of the videos we were talking about it, you know especially people that are floating cards by and people seeing what they got as they're at different tables and stuff like that and tracking them and watching them the whole time. But shame it happens out there, really is. But if you guys see something like that, look for Craig Conway. I'm sure he's somewhere on either Instagram or on Facebook or something like that. Um, if you do see it and you can't figure it out, I could probably... Let me see. I know this is in sports sports card scammers exposed right now oh this is the dude here craig conway so that's what the picture of him looks like and everything like that there it's a family picture of his wife and kids which i don't want to really keep up it's small but if anybody sees him and you can't get in touch with the guy holler at me i'll do my best to link you up with him and we'll try to get the guy's stuff back better than that i'll keep my eyes open for more stuff everybody Take care, have a good day, and I'll see y'all next video.